Hey, hey everyone, welcome to the Goading Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane. In today's lesson, we are going to install the programming language Python. We're going to install Python and the IDE programming editor PyCharm. If you're interested in learning how to install Python and the editor PyCharm, stick around. We're going to jump right in. So, all right, so on my desktop here, you can see I've got the browser open. I'm going to go to python.org slash downloads. Now, you'll see that we have python.org slash downloads, and there is a button to download Python 3.10.0. So, this is the latest version. If you're on the Mac, you can choose Mac, or if you're on Linux, you can choose Linux. This is the latest version for Windows. I'm going to choose to download Python 3.10. All right, so it's downloaded. I'm going to choose to show it in the folder. And I'm going to run it by double clicking. All right, so it gives me options here. I can choose to install now or I can choose to customize. Go ahead and choose to install now. Before you do that, though, be sure to go down to the bottom here and choose Add Python 3.10 to your path. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to run Python from the command prompt. So you, in order to run Python across your Windows system, you'll need to have this checked. Check that, add Python 3.10 to path, and now choose install now. All right, so it says setup was successful. If you're new to Python, you can start your online tutorials. You just got to actually have online tutorials you can go read, or you can stick around and watch more of my videos. We're going to be going over Python in the next few weeks. So stick around if you want to learn more about Python. All right, so what's next? I'm going to go ahead and close it. Now, how do I know I have that installed correctly? I'm going to go to Windows Command Prompt. So I pressed my Windows key. I started typing in Command for Command Prompt. I'm going to click on Command Prompt. And you'll see that my Windows command prompt window comes up. So Windows terminal comes up, kind of like an old DOS Windows or a Linux Windows. So I so because we chose the check box to add to path, I should be able to, to call Python directly from anywhere in the command prompt. There we go. So I typed in Python, I press enter, and Python 3.10 is shown. And it gives me a little command prompt so I can actually start typing in Python commands. That's cool. There you go. So Python is installed. Next, let's move over to installing an editor for Python. So you can run Python from the command prompt. But if you want to build any kind of bigger projects, you really need a IDE, an integrated development environment, integrated desktop de environments, development environment, not desktop. A pretty decent IDE you can install. It's made by JetBrains. It's called PyCharm. Let's go ahead and, and install PyCharm. So I'm going to go to jetbrains.org forward slash PyCharm. There we go. So IntelliJ Platform I went to the wrong place. Let's try it again. JetBrings.com and PyCharm. So www.JetBrains.com, PyCharm. There we go. All right, so we are on the PyCharm installation page or download page. Uh, there is a PC version here. I'm on a PC. I believe there's also probably other versions here. Let's choose download. And we have an option for professional or community. So the professional one is going to cost you money eventually later. You get a free trial, but it will cost you money to continue using it. Uh, we're going to start with the community one. The community one is really quite advanced in itself. Click download. And it started downloading. I want to keep it. All right, so it's through downloading. I'm going to choose to open when done. Or I can show in folder and double click it to open it. But I'm going to choose open when done. Something's happening. 
There we go. We have the PyCharm installation wizard. So you see PyCharm Community Edition set up. Uh, let's click next. And do I want to keep it in that default location? It's on the C drive. I want to move it. I'm actually going to move it to my D drive. My C drive is running out of space. So I'm going to put it on D, colon, backslash, put it in this folder. You can put it wherever uh, is best. Whatever You can put it wherever is best for your computer. I'm going to click next. Do I want to create a desktop shortcut? Sure. Make it easier to find. Do I want to update the path variable? Sure. Why not? And do I want to create associations to the .py file extension? I do. So I want all of my .py files to open up in PyCharm. So I'm going to go ahead and click that checkbox. I'm going to click Next. And do I want to put it in the Startup menu. What I want to call it, JetBrains, is not. Do I want to put it in a folder called JetBrains? Sure, I do. Click Install. All right. So... Basically, it's done installing. Do you want to reboot uh, later or reboot now? I'm going to go ahead and I will reboot later. Probably best you choose to reboot now. Since I'm recording, if I reboot now, it's, gonna, it's going to reboot all of my recording software. So, choose reboot now, choose finish, let it reboot. All right, so I'm going to open it up. I should see an icon on my desktop. If not, I can go to my Windows menu and type in PyCharm. There it is, PyCharm Community Edition. Go ahead and open it up. So I get this uh, terms of agreement. Be sure to read all of that. Make sure you understand it. Nobody does. And how could you? It's lawyer speak. Click continue. Now a new window comes up. Welcome to PyCharm. It says administrator. So I can create a new project. I can open one that I already created. Uh, or I can get from VCS. VCS is a kind of like a code repository. I'm going to choose new project. And where do I want to put it? I'm going to create a folder called PyCharm projects on my D drive. You can use the default location here. I don't have a lot of space on my C drive. So I'm going to change that. D PyCharm projects. And then I'm going to just, we're just going to call this project Python project. Now, you'll see I have a new environment using virtual environment. Let's see, location, it's on my D. And most important, you'll see base interpreter. Now, this, this you definitely want to make sure is set correctly. You should see options here. You want to choose the oldest, uh, or rather the newest version of Python. So I think that would be right here under Python 3.0. 1, 0, the one I just installed. You'll see that I had some old versions here, 3.6, Let's go to 3.10. All right, there we go, 3.10. All right, I'm going to choose Create. My ID starts to come up, and I get some tips. And you'll notice here it created a main.py. So .py extension files. So files with the extension .py are Python files, or text files that represent Python code. So it created a Python project here for me. It created a main.py, kind of as an example. Now, it actually, in this Python file, it actually has a print high. So this is a sample Python script. So I believe I can go over here and click the play icon and actually see it run in the console. Let's click play. There you go. So here's the console. So the output to running the Python code will display in this console. And you'll see, hi, PyCharm. All right. So there you go. So my ID is installed. I've got Python 3.10 installed. I've got the PyCharm ID installed. That's all there is to it. So I hope this video was helpful to you. It's pretty easy to install Python and the PyCharm editor. Once you get those two things installed, you are ready to start developing in Python. So pretty neat stuff. Again, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, hey, click that like button. It really helps to get the word out and get this information to others. And if you enjoyed the video and you plan on joining us for more Python videos or even our Java and JavaScript videos, hey, click that subscribe button. We'll be putting out new videos on Python in upcoming weeks. We also have tons of videos on JavaScript and Java currently on our channel. Go check them out. 
Thank you for watching.